I want you to understand something Then when I come up in this bitch, I want the fans jumping I want the fist pumping in the air I don't look like a millionaire, but I feel like a What's up guys, JoeCon94 today, and today I'll be showing you guys how to freshly install and configure Cody uh, This is obviously the date is 5 2016 um, So yeah, I basically just uninstalled it and I'm gonna reinstall it so I'll show you guys how to do it. Just ignore the icon there, it won't actually work. So you're gonna go to the link in the description or just go to the site here, which is https uh, cody.tv slash downloads and basically just do the installer, which I already downloaded. I'm on SIS in my grandpa's basement and the internet access isn't very like fast down here. So basically, you get the install file, you just double click it to run it. Um, you might get a thing if you have uh, UAC user account controls on saying you know this program is going to modify blah 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 just say yes hit next agree just leave all that stuff default hit next next install and that's basically it for installing wise um, and then to actually configure it we'll show you guys how to do that um, in a second um, so I'll also have videos linked as annotations because I'm only going to show you guys how to get the basic setup um, and then I'll just show you, there's another video that's going to be linked of how to uh, improve buffering. So the, you know, the, the videos don't keep pausing and stuff. And that's going to be using an advanced cache um, configuration. And I'll have, like I said, a link to that and this, in the uh, description probably too. And also definitely an annotation. I'll also have a link of how to use the um, add and get the source specto. Um, and add on specto, it's kind of like Exodus or Genesis. It's a little, it's very similar to looking like that. But I feel it works really well, um, and the reason I basically did that one is because Genesis, or not just, I'm sorry, Exodus, as far as the last week, up until today, I looked and it had HD content, but before that, it only had standard definition. It was retarded, like it had no HD at all. It had one HD link or two HD links, and none of them worked, though. I think it had two or three and or whatever, and I tried to play them and just said, you know, can't find link or error or whatever. It just didn't work, so... Uh, Specto is like another uh, add-on you guys can use and if you don't want to use it you don't have to you don't really need it but I would suggest that it works pretty well and especially if you combine it with the uh, advanced cache um, setup that I got that I showed you guys how to do in the last couple of videos ago um, you know that will definitely help you guys a lot the Specto video is actually rendering now so and this should be finishing up any second now. Yeah. It's probably going slow because Bitdefender is doing a scan it looks like or something and then that's rendering so it's probably using a lot of uh, CPU and RAM and stuff. But there we go, it's finished. So, just hit finish, check off run Cody, say finish. And this is what you'll get, just Baron, Baron Cody. So what you want to do is you're going to go over to System, go to File Manager, you're going to hit Add Source, double click that, go into here, you're going to type in HTTP colon forward slash forward slash fusion dot tv add ons dot ag, hit enter. Go down to here, you're going to double click in here and say fusion. Oops. Hit OK. Then you're going to go home. You can click on system. You can go to add ons. Just hit OK to that. There you go. Install from zip. Fusion. Start here. Pub Wizard. And you'll get a little confirmation down here in a second saying that basically Pub Wizard is done. Config is enabled. There we go. So you want to go to programs. Go to config wiz. And then you're gonna want to choose Windows if you're on Windows. Now if you're on Mac or Android or whatever, you're gonna choose that if you're using this add-on source. But for like um, Apple TVs and stuff, to get the actual Kodi it's different, same thing for this. Uh, Linux and Mac, honestly it probably just downloads like from the site, but I'm not positive. I don't have a Mac or to show you and I don't have any computer running Linux though I could do that if, if you guys really want me to do a computer with Linux I have my, my old laptop that I can dual boot or whatever and I can put Linux on it 
and I can probably even put a Mac emulator on it too. But anyways, we're going to do Windows because that's what I'm running and just say yes. And then this will download and install. Hopefully it won't give me any issues because the other day when I tried to make this video, uh, it was being a pain in the nuts and just it was not working. I, I had to use a completely different repo. And then I didn't. I used the titan titanium repo, which is okay. I, it's 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 a lot different than this. It doesn't look the same. It's very different from what I'm used to. It had some cool features in it and some cool uh, UI. Like you, it looks like there's a clear cache thing right there, which all that did is brought me to the program things. And you still had to click like four things, so it didn't really make a difference. You still had to click just as many things. The only difference is you have to scroll over. So it was kind of stupid, but. Um, yeah, I'm definitely a fan of the TV add-ons. This is what I've been using pretty much since I started using Cody. Um, and, you know, which right around Thanksgiving or Christmas is when I first learned about it and first got into it. And, uh, yeah, I just prefer it. Again, the internet's going a little bit slow right now because... I'm downstairs in my grandpa's basement, and his router, for whatever reason, doesn't really reach down here very well. Now, if you guys have any requests or questions or anything how to do or anything on Cody or anything about it, please comment below, and I'll definitely be sure to help you, whether it's just commenting to you or, you know, if I make, if it's something like I feel that needs a video made on it, like it's something a lot of people I think would want to know. You know, and I can make a video. Like, you know, if you ask me, how do I watch this movie or how do I do that, then I'll just probably comment to you. But if it's something like, you know, how to do live TV or what's the best sources for, you know, football or, or basketball or hockey or whatever, you know, I can definitely make videos on how to do all that too. Just uh, definitely comment and let me know. And I'll be happy to make the videos. Another reason this is going slower than it normally would is because I'm rendering a video, which takes a lot of CPU and uh, RAM. Because I render in 1080p 30 frames per second for this. So like this video right here you're watching will be 1080p 30 frames per second. And honestly, you know, I could do 1080p 60 frames per second, but I don't think I'm capturing in 1080p 60 frames per second. So when you render, you don't want to, if you're capturing in 30 frames, you don't want to render in 60, it'll look like shit. If you're capturing 60, you don't really want to render in 30 because it won't look very well. So anyways, it's done. Just hit OK. And boom, you're good. Now you're, that's all you have to do. Um, now you have the bases of Kodi. You have your or the TV Adams repo. You have your Exodus, Velocity. Uh, basically, what you want to do now is just go here, say Exit, and reopen it. And wait about 5 to 6 minutes and just let it download and update everything. Uh, I would like open... You know, Exodus, real quick, and um, you know it's on the latest version, I think. But I would still sit here. You can just uh, dismiss that. But yeah, I would just sit here on the home screen for a few minutes, and in a few minutes, seconds or minutes or whatever, you'll start seeing down here. You know, this has been updated. This ad has been updated. Um, see, there you go. So another thing I wanted to show you guys real quick is that you're gonna want to clear your cache. On actual uh, add-ons so as you can see Exodus you know clear cache that will help um, you know speed things up too so not only do you want to you know do the clearing the cache and the programs and maintenance tool like I showed you guys on the uh, other video the uh, how to fix the buffering issues you want to do that but you also want to clear the cache on individual add-ons that you use so if you use Exodus all the time every two or three days or whatever you're going to want to just clear the cache in there too. That's really important. That will definitely help you guys a lot. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I have to go configure my cache settings again and uh, get Specto back and all that shit. But again, I have links in the description slash annotations to how to do both of those things. Um, and uh, it's fine if it does that. Um, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys like this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Joy Kong 94 out.